Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Bores. Uh, today we got the table set up down here with the clear ballistics gel and we're going to be testing the 130 grain loaded ammo from Barnes Bullets. Uh, it's the Vortex line and again this is the 130 grain uh, loaded TTSX, the tipped TSX. I'm going to be shooting it out of the LWRC Reaper with the 16 inch barrel with a, a rugged surge 7.62 in the full long configuration on it. So let's see how it'll go. Okay guys, that was a miss. I was not sighted in for this bullet and I thought it would be close enough at this range, but obviously I shot over. Listen to the difference though when I hit the, the block, the difference in the sound. Wow, let's go see what it did. Here we captured the frame of the temporary wound channel. So that's what you're seeing here. We froze the one frame and this was the maximum point of the temporary wound channel. Wow. Flipped it up on its end and it was flying. that burn and we had a complete pass through I'm gonna have to put up another block here shoot it again to recover the bullet so damn makes a hell of a sound when you hit it let's go look at shot two Alright. Almost. Same hit there. We went completely through the second block. And here we are. We made it about four inches into the third block. Okay guys, we have the three blocks here. We're finally able to stop uh, the bullet here. It went, like we said, about four inches into the third block. I got the tape measure out here. We have a full 37 inches of penetration. So three blocks. I'm assuming the last one did the, the same thing. Of course, we can't confirm that because um, we only had two blocks up. But you see, here's the permanent wound channels. They're very dark. It burnt. It's going so fast. I'm sure we're going to have a good flash on the slow motion camera and hopefully we have a good uh, temporary wound channel but definitely a massive um, permanent wound channel it really starts at about two inches and it runs to about 12 and a half 13 inches so permanent uh, wound channel is from 2 to 13 inches so 11 inches of really good permanent wound channel there like I said real dark I mean this bullet is flying you know 3200 feet per second 3100 feet per second depending on the barrel length and it is it just burned it when it went through there I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out here and if this is anything like any other Barnes bullets I've ever seen it's going to maintain all its weight except for the tip and look perfect and there we go I don't know if you can see it but uh, part of the tip is still still stuck in there we have a uh, really good pedals it did exactly what it's supposed to do let me go get the camera and uh, zoom in on this there you can see the the tip is still stuck in there and it's sitting here on 
the ballistic gel. Now, as I said, almost every Barnes bullet I've ever shot has maintained all of its weight except the tip. I don't have a scale here, I'll have to go back and weigh it, but I assume this to be the same. So very good performance out of this bullet, as expected from the Barnes. Great penetration, good wound channel. We'll see the temporary wound cavity when I get back to my computer, get the video up. I expect it to be very nice. This was the first ballistic chest that I done, I've done on this bullet. We have already shot two hogs with this bullet. Uh, when Rugged came out last weekend, both hogs were shot almost center mass gut shot, so not the best shot placement, actually some of the worst shot placements that you could have picked. Both hogs did run, they didn't drop right there, but the farthest one made it about 40 yards and then dropped, left a massive blood trail, and the one was, was a pretty good size, the other was an average size boar. So two boars killed with this, both gut shot, and both, the farthest one ran 40 yards. So, so far, very good performance. We're gonna test it out some more on some more hogs and some more coyotes here very shortly, hopefully tonight. Um, anyway, 130 grain Barnes Vortex loaded ammo, the T tipped TSX 130 grain 308.